In the heart of the world's ecosystems, beneath the ground we walk on, lies a hidden kingdom, a world unseen by the naked eye, but as real and as vital as the air we breathe. This invisible realm is the domain of the mycelium, a type of fungi that forms an intricate network, connecting the roots of plants across the globe. Imagine, if you will, an underground city, bustling with activity, streets and alleys, highways and byways, all teeming with life all part of an intricate web of interaction and cooperation. This is the Mycelium Network, a world where life and death, growth and decay are part of a never-ending cycle of transformation. Though unseen, this network is not silent. It communicates in a language of chemistry, signals sent and received, messages of danger or offers of aid. It is a world that is constantly in conversation a dialogue that shapes the world above in ways we are only beginning to understand. For centuries this network remained hidden, its existence only hinted at by the occasional mushroom pushing its way through the soil. A secret world, driving the very essence of life above ground, its mysteries locked away beneath our feet. But as we stepped into the 21st century, a new era of discovery began. Scientists, armed with advanced tools and technologies, started to delve into this subterranean realm. What they found was a network so vast, so intricate, that it rivals the complexity of the human brain. This network, this unseen kingdom, is not just a curiosity. It is a vital part of the planet's life support system, a key player in the drama of life on Earth. It is a testament to the power of cooperation, of connection, of life's ability to find a way, even in the most challenging conditions. As we continue our journey of discovery, we are learning to see the world in a new light, to appreciate the miracles that lie beneath our feet. For it is here, in the heart of the world's ecosystems, beneath the ground we walk on, that we find a hidden kingdom, a secret world, driving the very essence of life above ground. It wasn't until the 21st century that scientists began to unravel its mysteries. Much like the internet connects humans across continents, the mycelium network connects plants and trees, facilitating communication and resource sharing. This vast, intricate network of fungi spreads out beneath our feet, unseen but essential. It's a global communication system, a botanical broadband, if you will, that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Just imagine beneath a canopy of towering trees or within the soil of your own backyard, a busy highway of information is constantly flowing. Trees, Plants and fungi are engaged in a lively conversation, exchanging nutrients, water, and other vital resources. Think of the mycelium network as the world's largest social network. It's a platform where plants and trees can post their needs or share their excess resources. If a tree has a surplus of a particular nutrient, it can upload it onto the network where another plant in need can download it. But the network isn't just about sharing resources. It's a hotbed of information exchange, when a plant is attacked by pests, it sends out a distress signal through this underground network. Neighboring plants receive this message, prompting them to ramp up their own defenses. And the unsung heroes facilitating this complex exchange, the fungi, they form symbiotic relationships with plants, connecting their roots with a web of fungal threads. This allows them to tap into the network, acting as intermediaries between plants. It's a win-win situation. The fungi receive sugars and other nutrients from the plants. While the plants gain access to water and minerals, the fungi extract from the soil. So while we marvel at the beauty of a forest or a garden, let's not forget the invisible threads that bind it all together. Beneath the surface, a sophisticated network is quietly operating, ensuring the survival and prosperity of our ecosystems. It's nature's own internet, with fungi as the service providers. In forests, trees, known as mother trees, use the mycelium network to nourish and protect their offspring. These towering guardians, with roots deep in the earth, are the heart of the forest, supporting their saplings in their journey towards the sky. Imagine a tree nursery, where each seedling is tenderly cared for, given just the right amount of water and nutrients to grow. Now, picture this on a grand scale, under the canopy of the forest, with the mycelium network playing the role of the attentive gardener. The fungi form a symbiotic relationship with the trees, trading nutrients for sugars produced by photosynthesis. This relationship goes beyond mere trade. 
The mother trees through the mycelium network can recognize their kin. Yes, you heard it right. Trees can identify their offspring. They direct more nutrients towards their saplings, ensuring they have a better chance of survival. It's a system of nurturing that's as complex and beautiful as any found in the animal kingdom. But the mycelium network doesn't stop at nourishment. It also acts as a line of defense for the forest. When a tree is attacked by pests or disease, it sends out a signal through the mycelium network. The neighboring trees receive this signal and boost their own defenses, becoming less susceptible to the same threat. It's like an organic alarm system, with each tree looking out for its neighbors. Trees, though silent and stationary, are not solitary. They're part of a vibrant, interconnected community, communicating and helping each other through the mycelium network. This unseen world beneath our feet plays a pivotal role in keeping our forests healthy and thriving. So, the next time you walk through a forest, remember that beneath the rustling leaves and towering trunks, there's a hidden network of life, a network that nurtures, protects, and connects. This underground network is crucial for the survival of young plants, providing them with water, nutrients, and even defense signals against pests. But it's not just in untouched wilderness where this network thrives. Picture the bustling cityscape, concrete jungles, towers of steel and glass, roads filled with traffic. Amidst this seeming desert of nature, there exists an invisible yet vital network. Underneath the urban sprawl, the mycelium network continues its tireless work, unseen and largely unrecognized. In the green lungs of our cities, the parks, gardens, and tree-lined avenues, the fungal network is hard at work. Each tree you pass on your morning jog, every flower that blooms in the city park, is part of a complex, interconnected system, thanks to the network of fungi beneath our feet. These urban green spaces are more than just spots of color amidst the gray. They are vibrant, living ecosystems, bustling with unseen activity. Even beneath the concrete and asphalt of our streets, fungi are at work. They thread through the soil, reaching out to tree roots, forming connections and sharing resources. These silent workers are the hidden support system for the urban trees that shade our sidewalks, clean our air and beautify our cities. The role of fungi in urban environments is not just limited to supporting plant life. They also play a crucial part in maintaining the health of the soil. By decomposing organic matter, fungi recycle nutrients, enhancing soil fertility and promoting biodiversity. They're the unsung heroes, silently contributing to the vitality of our urban ecosystems. So, the next time you walk down a tree-lined street or spend a moment in your local park, remember the invisible network beneath your feet. Consider the fungi, working tirelessly to maintain the health of our urban green spaces. They are proof that even in the most developed environments, nature finds a way to thrive. Urban environments, where nature appears to be pushed back, are alive with fungal connections. In parks, gardens, and even beneath streets, fungi work tirelessly to support urban trees and plants. As the climate crisis escalates, the role of fungi has never been more critical. This statement may seem surprising, but let's dive deeper into the world of fungi to unveil its importance in our fight against climate change. Imagine each strand of mycelium as a tiny carbon storage unit. As fungi break down organic matter, they convert carbon, a key contributor to global warming, into a stable form that can be stored in the soil for centuries, even millennia. This process effectively locks away carbon that would otherwise be released into our atmosphere. So in essence, fungi are nature's carbon capture technology, a vital tool in our arsenal to combat climate change. But the role of fungi doesn't stop there. Healthy soil is one of our best defenses against a changing climate, and fungi are the unsung heroes of soil health. By breaking down organic material, fungi enrich the soil, creating a fertile environment where plants can thrive. And thriving plants mean more carbon sequestration, more food production, and more resilience against extreme weather events. Moreover, the mycelium network holds the soil together, preventing erosion and promoting water retention. This is particularly important in areas prone to drought or flooding, where soil health can mean the difference between survival and devastation. But it's not just about what fungi are doing now. It's about what they could do in the future. Scientists are exploring how we can harness the power of fungi to create sustainable materials, 
convert waste into energy, and even clean up oil spills. The potential of fungi in our fight against climate change is only just beginning to be realized. The mycelium network is more than just a biological phenomenon. It's a symbol of hope. It's a reminder that nature has its own solutions to the challenges we face. And if we learn to work with nature, rather than against it, we can not only survive but thrive in a changing world. By storing carbon and enhancing soil health, these underground networks are on the front lines of our fight against climate change. So next time you walk in a forest or a park, remember, beneath your feet is a world of fungi, quietly battling climate change, one strand of mycelium at a time. In a world searching for solutions to environmental challenges, the answer may lie beneath our feet. The mycelium network, this hidden web of fungi, holds immense potential for the future of our planet. The health of this network is inextricably linked to the health of our ecosystems. If we protect the fungi, we protect the world. Understanding the mycelium network is akin to deciphering a secret language, one that has been spoken by the Earth for millions of years. It's a language of connection, of support, of survival. And as we begin to unravel its complexities, we're discovering just how much we have to learn. Fungi are the unsung heroes of our ecosystems. They're nature's recyclers, breaking down organic matter and returning nutrients to the soil. They're the mediators, facilitating communication between plants. They're the protectors, sending signals of danger and rallying the troops when pests attack. And as our planet faces the escalating crisis of climate change, fungi may just be our secret weapon. They sequester carbon, improve soil health, and boost plant resilience. They're on the front lines, helping to mitigate the impacts of our changing climate. But we can't take this network for granted. Just as we rely on the internet for our global connections, our natural world relies on the mycelium network for its survival. If we damage these networks, we risk severing the lifelines of countless organisms. So what does the future hold for these incredible organisms? That largely depends on us. By understanding and protecting the mycelium network, we're not just preserving an underground web of fungi. We're preserving the intricate balance of life on Earth. The invisible network of fungi serves as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of life. Every organism, every ecosystem, every part of this planet is linked. And in the web of existence, everything is connected. By understanding and protecting these fungal networks, we protect the planet itself. The invisible network of fungi is a testament to the interconnectedness of life. In the web of existence, everything is connected.